Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is in Photoshop CC. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to add color swatches to your Creative Cloud library so you can access your colors in any program that you're working on. Whether you're in Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop, After Effects, Premiere, you can always access your brand colors or maybe you're working on a client project and you want to keep all of their colors in one place. It's really easy to do. Let me show you right now. So here is a bunch of colors that I use in my brand. If I want to create my own Creative Cloud library that I can access anywhere in the world on any device, including iOS devices, all I need to do is open up the Creative Cloud library from Window libraries or come over here to the Adobe Creative Cloud icon and click on that. So to add all of these colors that I use for my branding to the Creative Cloud library in one step, all I need to do is come over here to this drop down menu and choose create new library from the document. Or I can also do the same thing coming down here to this new library from document. Just go to here, create new library from document. Adobe's going to look through these and say, hey, you want to add these colors? Sure. So now just like that, I have all the colors listed with the right hex colors. And if I want to rename it, I just click that menu again and go to rename. Now I can name these something like Mike's Colors, rename it. And just like that, if I go into any program, let's go jump into Illustrator, open up the Creative Cloud Libraries. I can go through these and see Mike's Color is already updated. If I want to use it over here, all I need to do is simply click on it. And right like that, I have the ability to access my colors. This is going to follow you in every single program, InDesign, Illustrator, Premiere, After Effects, you name it. It is a great way to work and that's just adding color swatches. I do this with everything. So how do you add just a single color if you don't want to add the entire document? Well, the easiest way to do it is just to select the layer itself, come down to this little plus icon and it's going to ask you, what would you like to add? I would like to add the fill color and just choose add and just like that, it's going to add it to your other mix of colors. If you don't want it, if you change your mind, just simply drag any of the colors or anything in your library, drag it to the trash can and just like that, it's done.